Hi there, so I'm going to be talking about putting Prettier and ESLint in your Svelte project, and I'll be using this uh, article as a reference, which was written by Sophia Brandt. So thank you, Sophia, for writing this article. Uh, I won't be following it exactly word for word, because there are a few things that need to be changed to make it work. Um, but this is a good reference, and I'll put it in the in the description. Okay, so first things first is I'm going to start my... So I'm going to change directory into my practice folder, and I'm going to digit svelte.js slash template. Call this prettier svelte. Okay, and then I'll change directory into there and npm install. And while let's do that, I will command T to open a new tab in the same directory and code dot to open up this project in VS Code. Okay, uh, it's still running. So next thing after all that is done, I'm going to come down here and copy and paste this and install all of this. So ESLint prettier you'll need, obviously, but then there's ESLint config prettier, ESLint, ESLint plugin prettier, prettier plugin svelte, ESLint plugin svelte 3. Okay, so it's a bunch of different things. I wouldn't expect you to memorize it. Um, and it is missing the install command, so you'll have to put that in there. Install. Okay, and that's going to take a while to run, so I'm going to set up the configuration files. Um, I'm going to start with prettier.js because this one is fine. I'm going to copy, so we're going to make a prettier.config.js file in here. Um, yeah, this happens sometimes. I don't know why. Maybe it's because everything's installing. So I'm going to come... Oh, it's already done installing. Um, let me exit out of there and try to open that up again. If you know why that happens, please let me know. And it might still look like that. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to make a... Whoops. A... What was it called? Um, prettier.config.js file. And paste that in. And that should be fine, um, unless you want to change it. If you know Prettier better than I do, maybe you have specific things that you want to do with that. And so let me come here, app.svelte. And let's say I write some ugly looking stuff. Well, that part's not ugly, but if I do like this and tab, 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 and maybe I do something like this. Okay. And then in order to make that look prettier, we're going to come here and run this code. You know, I don't really know what I'm doing exactly, but um, this is what the article says. I'm not, I haven't used Prettier or ESLint very much, so. And so it says to copy and paste this command to run Prettier, but you're going to need npx since you did not install it globally. Okay, so we'll see here it made it look prettier. Cool. So what happens if I make another component called high.svelte and I write in it a div here that looks like this and I save that then if I run that it's not going to affect my high dots felt so in order to get it to affect your high dots felt if you just run it on source no matching files patterns uh, source star dot svelte Okay, then it's going to fix that one for you. Um, okay, I think that's how you do it. I'm just kind of guessing it seemed to work. It'll run it on all your Svelte files, uh, at least if they're all in here under the source like that. Um, again, I haven't used Prettier much, so you may have to play with it and figure it out better. Okay, so next thing I'm going to talk about is ESLint. So you've already installed it, and it says to put this in a .eslint rc file. But that was not working for me, so instead I came here to the ESLint plugin Svelte 3. And I copy and pasted this into, it doesn't tell you here, but I, I copy and pasted it into .eslintrc.js. Uh, okay, so we're going to make, oh, we don't want it there. We're going to put it over, put it out here, .eslintrc.js. Okay, and then you'll paste that in there. And here you'll see it has this these empty settings and rules. So we don't want any settings unless unless you do, of course. Um, and then plugins will also put prettier, and we'll say that it extends prettier. 
Okay. And then here we'll put the rules. So right now I'm not going to put any rules. Um, but so that should work for the slint RC. Um, so I'm going to come down here and copy and paste this in. And again, you'll have to do npx since we didn't install it globally, unless you have it installed globally. Okay, so that ran on app.svelte, but app.svelte doesn't have any issues, so it didn't find anything. Um, let me see. So there's a there's no semicolon there, but we're not telling ESLint. We don't have any rules for it. So here, if you want to add your rules, for example, I, I did no console. Uh, I don't actually like that one, but um, I was just trying it out. So if you want to put no console in there and you want it to be an error, you're going to do that. And so let's say I come here and I do console.log high, then it's not going to like that. One problem, unexpected console statement, no console. Or if I have uh, the trailing where trailing white space, no trailing white spaces, then I can put that in my ESLint config and we'll make that an error. Okay, so now if I come here and I put this trailing space like that, and now I'm going to run it without fix so that we can see the error. Unexpected console statement and it didn't seem to get the trailing space, so I wonder if that only works up here. Yeah, so it's only doing that for up here in the script in the script tag. So it doesn't seem to get these here. Um, so if I did dash dash fix, like it suggests that you do, then it'll fix that no trailing space for me automatically. And you'll see here there's no spaces. But it can't fix the console.log automatically. You'll see in here if it has a wrench, that means it can automatically fix it. Um, if it doesn't, then it's not going to fix it automatically for you. So no console. So you'll see it's up here. Now you might be wondering, well, what's the point? It can't even it can't even lint inside here, but it will lint the console.log. If I save that um, and I run this again, so see here it's it was on line three before. Let's run it again. Now it's 14, 13. So it did catch it there inside the Svelte HTML. Okay, so um, this is just kind of a start for you. You can play around it. If you'd like, when I added, so um, you can add this extends ESLint recommend, and it's supposed to, oops, what? I thought I copied that. Oh, it looks like it's, I did not copy it. Looks like it's highlighted, but it's not highlighted. So um, uh, extends, oh, we already, yeah, so something like that. And that is supposed to give you rules for common problems. Um, I wasn't sure if that was working or not. You can try it out, um, but and you might want to put these into your like gulp file or grunt or whatever, however you want to do it. So this is just kind of a starting starting place for you to mess around with it. And for you, those of you that know ESLint and Prettier better than I do, you can comment below if you got any suggestions or see any any problems with how I'm doing this. Let me know. So good luck and have fun.